hello YouTube land. So I've been doing some shopping lately which is kind of bad because it's right before the holidays and I probably shouldn't be buying myself all this stuff but I really hadn't been doing that much shopping earlier so I figure it was okay. That's how I justify it to myself. Anyway so I have a bit of a haul here from a few different places um, mostly Sephora and Lush and a couple of other little things that I picked up um, here and there but I guess I'll just get into it and show you. So first I'll show you the stuff from Lush and most of this actually I think all of it is actually um, holiday collection stuff which is really exciting and nice because I really like their holiday stuff I think even more than I like their regular collection. So first item is the Snow Fairy Shower Gel. There it is right there. And it is pretty much bubblegum pink with some sparkles in it. Some sort of purpley blue sparkles. And this stuff smells so good. It's so... Oh, it's like gumballs, super sweet. It's so sweet. I just want to eat this. It smells so good and I actually got this monster sized tub bottle of it. Um, I kind of wanted one of the smaller bottles but unfortunately they're all sold out and I didn't want to miss out on it because I really love this stuff so I just picked it up anyway. Kind of pricey but what can you do? You know it's a once, once a year type of thing. I don't buy Lush stuff that often so yeah. Here's the bag. So a couple of other things here. My gosh there's a lot of paper in these Lush bags. Next item, this one I feel kind of bad about because I actually, I, uh, I'm using one of these right now and I have another one in case I run out and I have this one. It is the, um, the lip scrub and this one is actually the popcorn one. And it smells so good. Ah, oh, it's like, buttery sweet popcorn. It just smells so good. I love this and I missed out on this one last year. I really really wanted it and unfortunately I didn't get to Lush on time to get it. So right now I can't remember which one I'm using. I think it's um, the Sweet Lips which is just sort of a sugar and I, I don't really like that one as much as I like this one and the bubblegum one is really good too but I really like them. They work really well. They're super exfoliating. Um, you're supposed to be able to eat them when you're done you know just like lick it off your lips if you want but I, I've never really done that kind of creeps me out to know that I'm eating my dead skin cells that have just come off of my lips but you know no judgment against those who like to do it next item is kind of a surprise to unwrap all these things I think this is called the so white bath ballistic Ooh, crumbled a little bit and it's this one right here oh my gosh look at the crack that's sad Anyways, it's just a, um, a round fizzy bath bomb type of thing, but I think it's called a bath ballistic. And it smells like fresh apples. Mm. Quite delicious, quite lovely. It's going to be all nice and fizzy. Definitely looking forward to that. Make my bath water smell extra nice. Next item. Ooh, this is a, a, uh, a Cinders bath ballistic or bath bomb. Did, when did they change them to bath ballistics? Am I even getting that right? I'm just looking at my receipt and it says like Cinders ballistic and a so white ballistic. I don't know. But this one, this is it right here and you can see it's got kind of um, it's yellow with red kind of crystals there. And this smells exactly like um, cinnamon red hots or uh, cinnamon hearts from Valentine's Day. I've never had this one before but I've heard that the crystals are supposed to sort of be like pop rocks and uh, sort of pop in your bath. This one I'm really excited for. This is the Christmas Eve bubble bar. Actually I guess it should go like that because it's like a moon in the night sky. And this one just smells perfumey and relaxing and I'm really bad at picking out smells like more so than than you know people say that but me I swear it's more so this is probably lavender or something to help you sleep on that like exciting Christmas Eve night but it just smells so nice and I love these bubble bars 
they just create the most like voluminous, silky, luxurious, strong bubbles. They're bubbles that really stick around through your entire bath. They're not wimpy bubbles that disappear. Oop, oh, getting kind of sticky there. They're really, really lovely. And I actually don't usually use an entire um, bubble bar at one time. I'll usually break it up because I find using an entire one really is too many bubbles. And my last item, oh, this guy is so cute. He is a, who knows? I think he's a bombardino, bath ballistic or bath bomb, whatever you want to call him. And there he is, so cute. The little man with a little hat and he smells like lemon cheesecake. And he's so cute with his little eyes, I love it. Ooh. So this next item I actually got from uh, Mural which is a store here in Canada that's owned by Shoppers Drug Mart, except that they sell um, some higher end brands. Well, not some higher end brands, pretty much all higher end brands. I guess it's sort of a mix between, in the States, like a Sephora and an Ulta, kind of like that, except that you can collect Shoppers Drug Mart optimum points, which is pretty cool. And it's actually an item by NARS right there so you can actually probably find this you know wherever you can buy NARS um, I'm not sure if I've seen it at Sephora but then again I hadn't looked for it because I already had it and it is the ride up to the moon eyeshadow palette I'll show it to you I always keep the little plastic NARS thingy in my NARS products I don't know why and there we go so it's the Ride Up to the Moon palette, and we've got six colors here. So the colors don't have names, but I can describe them for you. This one right here is a matte, kind of beigey bone color. The next one is a shimmery bronze. This one is a dark brown with sort of bronze uh, sparkles. This one is a dark, whoops. This one is a dark shimmery green. This one is a sort of shimmery peachy color. And this one is a shimmery beige. And it's a really gorgeous palette. Um, the colors, though most of them are pretty neutral, there's also the green, which can give you a little bit of pop of color if you'd like. Um, the quality is wonderful. They blend so easily. They're wonderful NARS quality. I really, really like this palette. Six wonderful shades and a small, you can see just with my hand there, the size of the palette. Small palette, easily portable, beautiful colors. Very happy with this. The next items that I have are all from Sephora. Um, I'll show you the one that I'm most excited about first. This one is kind of crazy. It is an advent calendar from Benefit. I don't even know if you can see it, it's so big. It's like the size of my body. It's huge, absolutely huge. Like, like there's my arm all the way across it. It's giant and it's thick. And I'm so excited because it's an advent calendar that starts on the 1st of December and every day you get to open up a little door and get a, uh, a sample or a mini of a Benefit product. And I'm super excited for December 1st to come. This has been sitting on my fireplace mantle, just waiting for the first when I can open it up. It's so fun. It's actually, it's quite hefty. Um, you can actually open this up like a box if you like, if you don't want to open up all of the little doors, but I really prefer to be surprised and to have fun with it. And it's actually called the Countdown to Love Advent Calendar. So very excited about this. Can't wait for December 1st. Next item is something that I've gotten the last two years in a row and I'm, I, I've always loved it and I'm really excited that I was able to get it again this year. And it is the Sephora Favorites Lash Stash. And you get, let's see, a little uh, sleeve comes off. And there you've got this really pretty like rose gold box and it just pops right open like that. No! Pop 
pops right open like that and you get, let's see, one, two, uh, two full size mascaras, one set of lashes, and one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight mini, mini, okay, forget that one, mini mascaras. And a whole bunch of these are brands that I've never used before. So that's really exciting and a couple of them are uh, mascaras that I've wanted to try. So really excited for that. Can't wait. I mean not like I don't have enough mascaras you know sitting in the wings waiting for me to open them. But I got all these and I'm sure there's more somewhere else. Yeah I got a problem but whatever. Anyways um Next item is a Deborah Lipman nail polish. I'll open, whoa, let's get it out of its little box. And I haven't used this one yet, but I have used one for other glitter ones and I was really, really happy with this, or happy with it. And I actually was waiting for this one to come back into stock for a while because it is called Happy Birthday. And it is so pretty. Oh, here we go. It is just, silver and gold and multicolored glitter. So pretty. I cannot wait to put this on my nails. I'm definitely going to do that this week. Next item that I picked up is uh, I think a hot item for this season, for this year, and a lot of people already have it. I'm pretty sure it's probably sold out by now, but it is the Hourglass Ambient Light Trio. There she is. And just opens up like that. And right here we've got dim light, incandescent light, and radiant light. I'll just try and make that focus so you can see the colors a little better. There they are. And I won't do any swatches of these because they're actually really hard to see just on um, like my arm. But I've been using them ever since I got them, and I'm actually really happy with them. I wasn't sure quite how to use them at first, or even if this was going to be something that I was going to keep. So I've, I don't know, I've never really had a lot of luck with different powders. And finding one that works for me, I find that powders really settle into my fine lines. But these ones, you know, took a little bit of getting used to and a little bit of working with, and I'm still trying to perfect it. But I really like them and I think they give a really um, diffused, as they should, look to my face. Like kind of photoshopped out, you know what I mean? And my last item, I actually don't have the whole thing because it came with a bracelet, but I'm not sure where the bracelet is because I didn't really like the bracelet very much, but oh well. But it is the Tarte Off the Cuff Blush and Bronzer Palette. And this thing is super shiny. If you open it up. Sorry, I'll just take the little paper off, or not paper, the plastic. There are the blushes. And I love, love, love Tarte blushes. I have a bunch on their own, and now I've got this, uh, this palette, and it's just gorgeous. Gorgeous! And I can actually read to you what um, these colors actually are. This one right here is Crave. So, uh, and most of these are matte. This one is Crave, and it's a matte shade. This one right here is Dazzled, and it has a little bit of shimmer in it, but nothing chunky, nothing crazy, just a tiny little bit. This is Darling. This is Doll Face, which is sort of a, uh, a cult favorite. And this is a bronzer called Park Avenue Princess. And my favorite would, that I've actually been using quite a lot would have to be this center one, this Darling. I really like it. It's sort of a terracotta, um, pinky, peachy, orangey color that's been really nice for the fall and, and this type of, type of year, this time of year. If you guys like this video, give it a thumbs up. Leave me a comment about something that you've hauled recently if you'd like, or uh, you can subscribe down in some corner. I'm not exactly sure where. But thank you so much for watching and have a great day. Bye.